Alright, what's up everyone? Um, today I have something very interesting to show you, which is that I have created an automatic um, train loader and unloader system using open computers. Uh, and the way I do that is by having a loading station underneath each rolling stock and then a main controller computer to uh, load and unload them. So for example, we can see that our third loader has some items in it, right? It's a uh, fill bar is a little bit less than halfway full. Uh, so let's say we want to top that off. We'll click load and it will begin loading. Perfect. And then that's that. We can also unload and it will attempt to unload any stock. And then right now I just have it getting unloaded into a trash can where it gets voided. But of course you'll put a chest here and then you can do something with the items. Um, and then on the other side, our input is just a, a buffer chest filled by a creative cache with iron ore. So let's stop that and begin loading iron ore into all of these. And you can see them slowly fill up. Let's say we want to stop there, right? And now depart with the train. And you'll see that once this station realizes that there's no longer a train there, it enters sleep mode. And once it does that, it reduces its burden on the server or your client by essentially reducing the amount of network uh, messages it sends over time. So normally it sends uh, by default one packet to each uh, loader every second, but when it goes into sleep mode, it reduces that down to once every five seconds, sort of just to, as a, like a keep alive packet. And then once the train comes around, we will see that it re-enters um, normal operations. It comes out of sleep mode. All right, here it is. Uh, so what's gonna happen is this guy is gonna come along to the end of the station. I have a little, um, locking mechanism that detects the train and stops it. And once it stops, uh, we should see that our loadmaster comes out of sleep mode and detects the fill of each uh, rolling stock again. Perfect. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, and I'm gonna go through next how on a quick tutorial on how to build one of these. All right, let me see if I can walk you through the process of setting up one of these um, loadmaster stations. Now, the first thing to know is that they consist of multiple individual loader segments. Uh, that example station over there had three, and here we're just going to build one just to show you how it works. And there's these multiple loader sections, and then there's one master controller that, that has the uh, screen that you interact with. So, in order to build the um, the uh, individual loaders. For each one, you're going to need uh, these materials. Um, now, the screen and keyboard can be taken away once you're done because it doesn't actually need a screen and keyboard once it's just running autonomously. But to start up and get things installed, yeah, you will need it. Um, so let's just take these items and first things we're going to do is uh, once we decide where we're going to put it, we're going to decide which is our input and output. So we want to essentially put items from a chest, from a buffer chest here, going into the stock, and then we want to pull out into this chest, right? So this is our output, and that's our input chest. Um, then what we're going to do is place a transposer next to each of those, and an adapter in the middle. Perfect. Um, so once you have that, we're going to go ahead and take our... Um, uh, augments from immersive railroading and we're gonna take the item loader and put it above our input uh, transposer and our item unloader goes above the output transposer and then the detector in the middle and use a redstone torch to set this detector to the computer mode that way we can actually interact with it Then we're gonna come down here and we are going to place our server uh, rack uh, underneath any one of these blocks. 
Now it doesn't matter, and I'm just going to do this one just for uh, just so that it's closer to our uh, control center. And then what we're going to do is put our server into this rack. Now this server is configured with um, a normal CPU, some memory, a hard drive, graphics card, internet card, and network card. These two you must have, and I highly encourage to use a wired network card instead of a wireless one because a wireless one can interfere with other stations nearby if you might have them and also it's cheaper so we're just going to go with that uh, i've pre-installed uh, open os onto here but if you have not done that yet you will go ahead and add a disk drive put in your open os and connect them up now we want to connect uh, the server to these top components uh, these three uh, while allowing network connections through the bottom or the side in this case, uh, whatever you prefer. But the, the network and component connections have to come out of different sides to ensure that they're completely separated and isolated. So we're going to say that we're connecting components to the top, in which case, if we were installing OpenOS, we'd also connect a disk drive there. And we're going to say that network connections come out through the bottom, right? So now what we can do is attach a little cable there to connect a monitor and well, let's just uh, do something like this place a keyboard all right that's our monitor um, and then we said our network is coming out of the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and do something like this oh. and we're gonna connect up our main controller there all right so now that that's that, we can go ahead and boot this thing up. Oh, once I, uh, hold on, let me get some power. Perfect, it's just a power converter and then you can input whatever power you want. And then, let's see. So, to install and get everything working, I have this paste bin command, which I'll put down in the description, and you just run it. And since we're installing a loader and not the master controller, we are going to press one. All right, and we're just gonna choose the default port. And the loader ID should essentially be a unique ID for each station um, that indicates where this loader is in terms of you know the sequence. So, for example, um, this just has one, but in this three loader configuration, this is loader one, two, and three. And so in this case, we just have one, so we're going to go with ID one. Perfect. Uh, all right, enter more, one or more substrings, comma, separated to search for enrolling stock IDs to see if they're valid. Now, this is sort of a whitelist, so you can whitelist only certain stock uh, so that your uh, loader and unloader don't interact with uh, literally every rolling stock that go comes over here. And you're going to want to set this to at least one item, but in this case, because I'm dealing with box cars, gondolas, and stock cars from the from the base um, resource pack. I'm gonna put those in here, comma separated. And these uh, values come from uh, the detector augment. If you have one of these stock, uh, rolling stock items over a detector augment and then call the info method, you're gonna get this as the stock ID. And I just took out a unique bit of that and put it here. So press enter. On what side is the input buffer? So the input buffer is uh, on the west, right? We're looking towards that way. So we're gonna say four. And the output buffer then is on the east. So that is three. All right, now we need the address of the transposer under the uh, loader. So that's this one. And we're gonna copy that and paste it in there. And then we need the uh, Let's see, what was it? The address of the transposer under the unloader augment. So we're gonna take this one here, copy that, and paste it in. Installation complete. Perfect. And now this guy is ready to go.
So, now that that's done, uh, we're going to set up the server. And the server is actually quite simple. Uh, we just need a screen, keyboard, and another rack. And we're going to go like this. And set up the screen. Now the screen uh, can be any size you want as long as it's a square. So like a 1x1, one 2x2, one, 3x3. Two two, three three. Uh, so here I'm going to do 2x2. Two two. We put in our server and we want to connect networking to the bottom because that's this uh, that connects us to the loader. So we're going to do that. Networking is a small one, so bottom. And from the perspective of the rack, this is to the right, so we want to connect the component, uh, the screen, to the right. And then boot up. Now, you need basically the exact same configuration for this uh, master server as you do for this, um, as for the loaders. So that's basically just an internet card, a wired network card, graphics, memory, hard drive, CPU, and BIOS. So, in order to install, we run the exact same install script, uh, which is this one. And in this case, we just want to install the master controller. And we just want to use the default port like we did with the installer. And because I already pre-installed this one, it says its service is already completed. So we just enter to reboot. And there we go. It's detected our loader, loader ID 1, and everything is good to go. Um, so, and you can see the network is actually showing them talking to each other quite a lot. Uh, after a while, that will slow down because we go into sleep mode since there are no train trains here. Um, but once a train does arrive, as I'll show shortly, um, it'll come out of sleep mode and then give us the opportunity to do stuff at a faster rate. So, let's go move this train over here. Um, but first, let's make sure that we have some items in here. So let's uh, just load all. That should be good. And let's get on our way. Oh, and this is actually a great time for me to showcase uh, a neat little program I have here called Info, which basically can, I can use to inspect these rolling stock as they come along. And that's how I got the uh, you know 3000 class boxcar uh, string, by essentially just rolling them over this detector, reading the info out of it, and then I can just copy and paste that. Right? So that's how I do that. And I'll put the paste bin for that one also in the description. But let's go ahead and head towards our loader. Now, how you set up your station is actually completely up to you in terms of you know automatic stopping or whatnot. Um, this loader, its only requirements is that uh, one of those whitelisted stocks is sitting above it and not moving, and only then will you be allowed to interact with it. Right. So. Here we are coming up on the loader. Perfect. All right. So, because we're in sleep mode, oh, we just noticed that we no longer need to be in sleep mode. Whoops. Uh, because we've detected a valid stock above us. Um, so what we're gonna do is unload. And here we see that we're emptying out the uh, stock. Perfect. And now, if we want to, we could, for example, move forward by a little bit. And have the gondola uh, get unloaded as well. Once it stops. And then we gotta wait for uh, one more 
packet to be sent and we're out of sleep mode so let's unload this one perfect so that is how you install the loadmaster